this is Cookie, um, who has been a mess since he first arrived. Um, owner in London, kept him and many other rabbits in her flat. His brother fell off the balcony and died. Um, he's got cashmere, stroke angora in him, but his coat is always a mess and very poor. Um, so we keep him groomed, but tends to lose a lot of his coat and it has had times when it's been very thin. He's got misaligned incisors, um, prone to jawbone abscesses and has got a slight head tilt at the moment. Um, he was being fostered as a house bunny um, and has had a couple of ex-girlfriends who have passed away. Uh, so presently he's, he's with me in my hospital um, with his girlfriend Montana. He's also a little fluffy buffy. Um, she came in having suffered from various fly strike problems and overweight and diet problems. Um, again, we're always here to support people. Uh, the owner had struggled for two or three years, but with the right knowledge, we were able to solve her problem literally within a couple of weeks. Um, she's had a dental since, but her bum is now beautiful. Um, I'm going to have to trim her fur to keep her eyes clean. And so she can see the poor little thing. So that's Montana and Cookie. <coughs> Next we have a couple of megacolon rabbits, but almost with the opposite problems. Here we have Chanel, who gets loose droppings. Um, she's on mature site selective and also lots of Protexin pellets. Um, so there's her fluffy bed area and her chewed basket, which they love, from Lisa at the Hay Experts. Um, and we have her little mate, Chompy, who is a relative of Rhea, who I discussed earlier. She's a good hay eater, luckily, um, and again, with a warm environment and right balance of vegetables, we manage to control her problem most of the time, but she has the odd bout of requiring antibiotics or pain relief. Um, and her immune system isn't as strong as other rabbits. Megacolon disease, or also known as spotty rabbit syndrome, is only present in spotty rabbit English rabbits. Um, it's a genetic deformity where the colon and intestine is um, deformed. I'm not sure whether it's thickened or shorter, um, but the it makes the motility uh, poor. Another spotty rabbit syndrome rabbit is Andre, but his problem is almost easier to, to solve because he's got the problem where they're very large, hard droppings. Um, so though at times his gut has been very extended with lots of hard feces and I've had to give him lots of paraffin, liquid paraffin, and it's been quite terrifying. Um, actually with him, as long as he's kept warm, uh, and a heated room seems to fit him better than cold weather. Um, but lots and lots and lots of vegetables and green, everything green, um, seems to really, really help him. So his problem I tend to control by feeding him ad lib green vegetables and herbs. But please don't escape. And his little girlfriend is wonder. She's healthy. All right, darling. Um, for educational purposes, there are his poos. And I don't know whether you probably can't see, but that one actually is probably quite large and um, oval rather than round. Um, but luckily they're quite good at the moment because they can be scarily larger than that. Tummy running around the floor at the moment with this little mate. Um, and last but not least, we have Foster and Inca. Um, Foster is again a cashmere angora rabbit who I find a lot easier to sit around and groom up at my house than down at the rescue um, and the snow and the rain doesn't help him too much. Um, long head rabbits you'll find are a lot more prone to fur mites, 
so recently we, he was treated and you can see the new fur growth actually very nice short coat um, rather than that horrible long haired coat which is so fine and tangly um, but hopefully he and he can go back down the rescue and it's a bit warmer and drier um, she's looking a bit not very impressed with the camera being on so I'll close up their little nest box leave them in peace and probably better for me not to actually use any wood shavings on the long haired rabbits but newspapers or I do like back to nature very nice products um, anyway I think that's all the bunnies now I think I did show you Starburst and Austin earlier and there's little Romeo munching so thank you very much for listening to our tour let me just show you my gorgeous a little Austin 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 rabbits are so funny how they love blankets a little stroke and a kiss. She's so gorgeous. <laughs> he came in emaciated a couple of years ago from a pet shop in London. Terrifying in the poor condition. He had a gorgeous brother called Alvin who sadly got adopted but then passed away. Who was oh, absolutely stunning. Anyway, leave him to have a little sleep. <laughs> Thank you.